This is Mark Bell from Super Training TV, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We have a question from the Power Project Army at Yahoo email. If you have a question, email me there. This message is brought to you by HowMuchYouBench.net and the only strength magazine in the world, ThePowerMagazine.com. Uh, this question comes from Annan Annan. At least that was their email address. And at the end, it said with optimism. <laughs> I might have to look that word up in a dictionary because, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea what the hell that means. I never really paid much attention in school. It was all just kind of a blur. I do remember there were some hot chicks. Um, but, yeah, I don't remember much else. Anyway, I'll have to look that up with optimism. Um, your question is about dynamic effort benching. You said that when you do dynamic effort bench, that you get some pain down in your bicep. Kind of hard for me to show you the bicep with this jacket on. But you get some pain in the lower bicep, and you want to know what, it's, what to do about it. First things first is uh, the Power Project Army at this point should know what I'm about to say. If it hurts to do dynamic effort benching, then don't do any more fucking dynamic effort benches. Cut them out for a little while. Try something different. Try some overhead presses. Uh, try something that will slow you down. Try fives to five um, with a little bit heavier weight. I know that sounds weird, sounds awkward, but your bicep is a decelerator of your shoulder. It's something that helps uh, slow down your shoulder, helps keep everything intact, much like the rotary cuffs, the rotator cuffs. Um, so, Always keep that in mind that if you're trying to do something, if there's pain somewhere and you're trying to do something really fast, usually if you do something slower, there's less pain or there's no pain. You can try my product, the Slingshot from HowMuchYouBench.net. That helps solve a lot of problems. But really, I would just avoid dynamic effort benching for a little while. You won't die. You'll be okay. You can maybe switch to a method such as the cube method where you're rotating in different efforts at different times. Uh, or you can simply just... Uh, for the next couple of weeks, cut out your dynamic effort benching and try to do something differently. Uh, if the pain is worse than what you're describing, um, you might have to take some other measures. Going to get some ART would be a smart move. Going to see a doctor, get some active release therapy might be a good idea. Um, icing, stretching, shit like that. That kind of stuff will help. You know what helps a lot too is uh, just wearing some elbow sleeves can help tremendously. Uh, also off of my website, I sell a pair of wraps called multi-purpose wraps. They are basically wrist wraps, but you can wrap them around your elbows, around your forearms, you can wrap them around different spots. Get the 36 inch pair, that would probably be your best bet, unless you have enormous pipes and you might want to get the longer ones. But those can, those can help as well. Um, some other things that would help would be to start to implement some curling, some reverse curls. Uh, preacher curls where you're getting that full stretch at the bottom. I know that shit kind of hurts, but that's the kind of stuff that'll help. If it hurts to curl, just curl less weight. Just use less weight. Use your head. Um, also, uh, in your efforts to uh, to make this bicep better uh, and, kick, and, and do the fact that you're going to be kicking out dynamic effort benching, why not throw in some dumbbell presses? So here, I'll give you a workout for free because that's the kind of guy I am. And it's Christmas time. Tis the season. So here we go. Ready? You write this down. You got a pen. You got a piece of paper. You got something to write it down on. Yikes. Um, <clears throat> let's have you do uh, three sets of ten with the same weight. Pick a weight. Warm up first, obviously. Obviously warm up first. Maybe do some lat work first. How about this? Three sets of ten of lat pull downs. Three sets of ten of some sort of row. That way you're already a little warmed up going into your dumbbell bench pressing. Do uh, one or two cheap sets. I call them garbage sets. Just grab the 20s, move them around a little bit. Grab the 40s, move them around a little bit. And then do three sets of 10 with whatever weight you feel is appropriate. Your last set, your last couple reps of your last set should be difficult. So whatever that means to you. you grab the 70s, I don't know. You tell me. So you pick a weight there. Three sets of 10 there. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to work your way up on uh, some heavy dumbbell presses. But we're going to do the dumbbell presses. We're just going to work our way up to a heavy set of eight reps. And then I'd like you to finish with a heavy set, or I'm sorry, a high repetition uh, set of about 25. So you're going to warm up on the shoulder overhead shoulder press. Do them standing. Um, you're going to do them standing and just you know do uh, one light set to get used to the range of motion, get used to the movement. 
Then grab something fairly heavy for a set of eight and then uh, reduce the weight. Probably need to almost cut the weight in half and uh, do a set of 25. If that feels pretty good and you feel like you got one more in you, go ahead and do one more set of 25. After that, finish up with some tricep uh, extensions and mix in. Um, superset that with hammer curls. After that, superset some uh, reverse curls with some tricep push downs uh, against the band. Um, and then after that, uh, just do one more set of, uh, of curls on the incline. Get on the incline, just a very slight incline, and do incline dumbbell curls. And let your elbow stretch at the bottom. That will also help alleviate some pain and some tension. So, I think that just about nails it. With optimism, I'm out of here. Catch you later.